Hi there, this is uh, Chef Andrimner of Sweden. Today we're going to make uh, a beef salad, which is uh, a bit of an approximation of some food we've had in Thailand with some more local ways of doing it and it's a super simple dish, so come along and I'll show you. The first thing we're going to do, this is a salad, which is basically a layer of, uh, of uh, vegetables and then the meat and a dressing on top, a sauce on top, and uh, it's super simple to make. And uh, the main thing, the main ingredients here is of course a good quality meat, but also the dressing, which is um, the easiest possible way to balance the uh, sweet, sour and uh, salty. So what we do is we start making some uh, fresh lemon and lime juice. And the reason I'm blending both is that in a lot of countries, South, both in South America and over in uh, in Asia is that they have a citrus fruit that's something in between a lime and a lemon. There's a certain bitterness in it that uh, we don't get in the lemons that we buy here in Sweden. So we mix and match a little bit. And this is... Um, the first time I tried to make this was uh, when I came back from uh, a trip to Thailand and I had been looking over the shoulder of a, of a chef on one of the dive boats I was on but I couldn't really figure out but all the bottles were that she put in there when she made the sauce. But uh, this is, of course, not a proper Thai beef salad. Uh, one thing that I, I always enjoyed having food in Thailand, but one thing that I always missed was that the quality of the meat wasn't very good. So we're doing this one with high quality meat. So it's not really a Thai beef salad. So I don't have any real name for this. So feel free to comment at the bottom and we can come up with a name for this. I also put the recipe in the in the description on how to do this. So like that we start with uh, some lemon juice and lime juice fresh and nice and uh, we take a bit of sugar you can use whatever sugar you want I like using the uh, Muscovado sugar because it adds a bit of a caramelly flavor to the sweetness. And when you do this, and when you try it, you want to be a little bit careful because the sweetness increases as the uh, Muscovado sugar melts. So don't do too much. Quite a bit of salt. And then we mix it. The Muscovado takes some time to uh, take some time to melt so we give it a bit of time now more acidic so one thing that uh, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sous vide the meat before I put it on the barbecue to to sear it and uh, when I sous vide the meat, I'm also going to put this sauce, the dressing, in together with the meat in the sous vide. So that uh, it's the same temperature as the meat when you pour it on, so you don't shock cool down the, the, um, the meat when you pour the dressing on. So therefore I stick this in an old jam jar. Mix it around a bit. Another test, actually. Try it a little bit. Perfect. That's it. And that's the dressing. Right. So here we are, and I'm going to backpack the meat. Uh, what I've done is um, just uh, chosen a really good piece of uh, of uh, tenderloin, and uh, I'm going to salt it. Nothing other than salt. Quite a bit of salt on there. Now, the reason I'm choosing uh, the tenderloin is not because it's my uh, favorite part of the, of the animal, it's not my favorite cut, but good quality animals often have a lot of marbling, and so does this one, it's a beautiful marbled piece. But, since we're eating this on a salad, it's not necessarily going to be so warm when we eat it, so I prefer to take the tenderloin rather than the ribeye, because the ribeye has a lot of marbling that uh, I prefer to eat when it's uh, when it's quite uh, hot. So this piece is uh, a bit more tender and I think it's perfect for the for the salad. And I also 
have noticed that the kids prefer the tenderloin to the uh, to the ribeye. This is uh, from a this is from a local farm. It's uh, it's a really good quality piece of meat. And then all we do is we uh, backpack this one. And I do this in the morning. These bags are a little bit uh, difficult. I do it in the morning. Uh, I like the when I sous vide a meat like this. I, I like to let them spend a few hours. I like them to spend a few hours on uh, uh, with the salt in the, uh, in the backpack. That's it. We'll get back later on how to make the uh, salad. But, uh, don't forget to support your uh, favorite charity, the Chubby Unicorns. Don't thank you for it. Right, so one hour, 54 degrees in the sous vide. The, uh, well, I stuck the meat into the sous vide. I have prepared the salad that is going to go on. It's basically a romaine salad and um, there's cucumber and there's tomato. I also prepared by chopping up some cilantro that's gonna go on top later on. And also some garlic and some butter that I'm gonna blacken on the barbecue after I'm done with the meat. All right, so the uh, meat has been uh, sous vide for uh, 60 minutes in uh, 54 degrees uh, Celsius. And now it's time to sear it. Now. I like to have a lot of uh, searing surface, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this lengthwise like this and then we'll slice it up later. So let's do a cut down the middle, good to use a long and pretty sharp knife, like so. These are the two pieces and they're done, so we put a bit of butter on the... I'm using the, the steel, it does need a lot of butter, just a little bit this and that's the sound there we go I'm gonna flip these around and turn them and get a really good bark going on the outside this is one thing I really like doing and we need it on uh, this dish we need a little bit of bitterness so I'm browning garlic really 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 brown almost black to sprinkle on top because that's one thing that is missing on the uh, on the flavor palette right so the meat's done and we're going to plate it so we cut it up the thinner you can slice it the better so it's good to have a sharp knife and uh, this is a delicious dish for the summer because one thing that uh, a lot of food lacks, in my opinion, is the contrasts and uh, specifically acidity. This one has all of it, and in the simplest possible way, by just using the <laughs> using lemon juice and sugar and uh, nampla, the Thai uh, Thai fish sauce for the dressing. And then on the side, we're also going to have uh, one of the simplest dishes, a proper crowd pleaser. Kids love it. It's uh, Thai red noodles, and uh, I'll show it to you guys later. But uh, if that's something you want to learn how to do as well, feel free to give me a comment at the bottom here, and I will uh, I will uh, I can make a video on that as well if you guys want. And place it like that on top. Get the next one going. Some flies, of course, because we're cooking outdoors. So that's it. I'll show you when the uh, when it's complete. Right. So now we're almost uh, almost finished here. So we are going to pour on the the dressing we made. That's been in the sous vide. We're together with the meat in this jar. We pour a little over that, or a little. Pour a lot. This is delicious stuff. 
just all over the stuff. There we go. Smells delicious. And then uh, some of the blackened garlic for the bitterness. And then another crowd pleaser, which is the cilantro from our own garden. There we go. The unnamed beef salad with romaine lettuce, cucumber, tomato, uh, beef tenderloin, and uh, cilantro and blackened garlic with the uh, with the dressing we made. And here are the noodles that uh, we like to serve with it. But you can serve anything with it, rice or whatever you want to. And that's it. Bon appetit!